What's up, Libra? This is Obsidian Lotus Owl. I'm here to do your daily reading for uh, September 25th, 2020. Before I get started, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on my channel to show your love and support. Also, if you'd like to donate to my channel or contact me for any reason, that information is going to be in the description box below. All right, so the energy that I'm picking up for you is kind of like the energy of needing to make a decision. Um, and I don't want this to sound messed up because it's not... I don't think it's meant to be, um, but needing to make a decision between love and money. And so maybe there's something that possibly you've got going on right now, a situation scenario, maybe you might have to move for money and then the person you love is, or your love interest is not where you're having to move, relocate for money or travel to work or something. There's some kind of issue. I feel like you're scared. It's like you can only have one or the other kind of energy. There's no like having both for whatever reason. Um, and we're going to see what that's about. Okay. That's the energy that I'm picking up for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and start shuffling the deck for you. Spirit, angels, guides, ancestors, God, please help provide me any messages for Libra, sun, moon, rising for September 25th, 2020. Could be involving an earth sign. I just saw the king of pentacles. And uh, I feel like that person can't move, can't go, can't something, um, for whatever reason. Let's see. Pretty family. You never know. Um, maybe you don't want to be separated from family. maybe having it like make a decision do I want to stay with family or do I want to like go out on my own move away for money a better opportunity with money right now or just stay with clothes that's for somebody let's see wow okay <laughs> on with a sign of Libra as far as romance, love, life, the devil. All right. So as soon as I couldn't shuffle the cards, I didn't want to speak on it yet, Libra, but I felt like there was something that was like, and I I heard it. It was like, shut up. <laughs> it was like, okay. So there's some kind of energy, devil energy. Um, and I feel like it's devil energy, like maybe even the energy of, mm -hmm. Could be a cross watcher energy or something but something that's not fun something that wants you to uh not feel or not uh speak on something i don't know what that's about okay the devil energy though could be involving a cancer things coming to light i just looked down um let me see what else we have wow okay um conflict could be involving a fire sign we have capricorn fire energy um, I'm going to get my clarifying deck out now. So, what is this devil energy and conflict for Libra? Could be with the Scorpio. Um, there could be some kind of conflict with a Scorpio and now you have to move. judgment. I'm going to draw one more. Six of swords. Yep. This is leaving. That's the judgment you're having. You're making a decision to leave. This is air energy. This is your energy, Libra. So there's been a trend, a death of a situation. There's been conflict. There's been uh, a lot of low vibrational energy regarding a situation, a love interest. Um, I'm not sure yet what's going on here, but there's a situation that, um, it's definitely ending for you and you're making a choice to leave, or this is the energy you're in, your judgment, you're trying to, you're trying to leave a situation or find a way to leave a situation. Um, 
you don't want conflict with this energy. It could be a Scorpio. Um, how is the energy of the sign that four of swords, but in reverse? So I feel like this is, uh, I'm going to get this other deck out. What is this four of swords in reverse for this other energies? The other energies regarding Libra five of cups. So this is, um, coming out of an energy water energy so it could have to do with a pisces cancer scorpio but your person is coming out of the energy of feeling really hurt really regretful um kind of like they've they've also kind of gone through a lot of like rest recuperation healing after some bad stuff okay um it could have cost them money let me elaborate on this Five of Cups for the Sun card. So, yeah, this person, um, I feel like is an energy. They have a lot of fire, fire and water energy, Libra. But this is also the energy of, like, they're leaving. Um, there's something about this situation that kind of took away, like, a... Uh, their sunshine or sun like could have had could have had something to do with a child this situation lost they lost something there's something about a child that it affected greatly and I think it um this is what this conflict is for between the two of you people maybe um because I just keep looking at this child on the horse I feel like there's heavy emphasis about something that has to do with a child and there being a lot of like sadness regarding that so maybe things came to light for this energy that there was some kind of conflict maybe between the two of you there was somehow you were involved in this libra for this person maybe maybe this person if there was like a baby mama baby daddy there was some kind of involvement that there's like you know third party energy and some there's somebody Got hurt in the middle. Spirit, help me elaborate on this sun lovers Gemini energy. Um, so it could have something to do with Gemini or just a lover. Somebody that you were with. Maybe it had something, something happened with their child when you were with them. Or something about children um and i look down this is this is the energy of leaving leaving again um your energy i think whatever happened it was just i feel like for whatever reason libra i feel like you leave you leaving a situation you, i feel like it's concerning whatever happened with all this i feel like you think it's the best thing or the right thing to do um how is the energy of, how are you feeling about this person's energy? This person, okay, this is, you're deciding you feel like you want to leave. This person wants you to leave. So I feel like you're on the same page. This person wants you to leave and you're so upset about whatever happened that you've, the conflict and all this low vibrational drama, you feel like you want to leave. So it's almost like the feeling is mutual, but it's not a happy situation, if that makes sense. Um... How are you feeling about how, how is Libra feeling about how this person feels? All right. So I feel like, you know, the eight of pentacles, I feel like you feel like you're just going to worry about your money now. I think you're choosing, I feel like whatever happened, there's been too much drama you're not willing to put yourself in whatever this sh devil low vibrational energy is, this conflict, it's too much. Um, and you just, you're going after money. And I swear that's what I, I think that the, the reading and the energy that I was picking up is, you know, should I go after money or love, money or love? So I feel like it's kind of the energy of like, should, what should I fight for right now? Um, and I think, I think the energy that I'm getting from you is I'm going after the bag. I'm letting go. This person wants me to let go. I'm letting go. 
the lovers twice now. Gemini energy. Um, let me elaborate on the lovers. King of Pentacles, but in the reverse. So I feel like your lover lost money somehow. This is a person that's usually wise with investments. Um, wise about what they invest money, time in. Um, what does it have to do with how you feel? You feel like your lover feels like you are a bad investment. That's how you're looking at it right now, I think. I feel like this is the energy of just a lot of, it could be, uh, they could have a lot of earth or be an earth sign. Um, but this is patience and hard work. Okay. I feel like, I feel like this is how you feel. I feel like you are worrying about your money now. You're choosing money over fighting. Um, I feel like you feel kind of sad about it though, because you put in a lot of hard work and, and, ha and, and patience with whatever situation was going on. Maybe the conflict, low vibrational energy there. Maybe, uh, you kind of hit a breaking point with some of it and you were just like, you know, I'm not going to be told I don't, I'm not wanted here anymore. I already put up with a lot of shit. Um, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, you just don't want to be burdened anymore, you know? You don't want to be burdened anymore. We have the Nine of Wands here. Um, you're losing, you were losing sleep. You were having a lot of anxiety. I feel like it was also affecting your money. Because it's not showing up on top of the money here. So, it was just making all areas of... All areas of your life. Yeah, you're, you're thinking clearly now about everything. This situation was affecting all areas of your life and not in a good way. Okay, so it was making it completely unmanageable. You're having mental clarity about what precise action to take in the situation is how you're feeling right now. And I think you're just choosing to do you as far as money is concerned. Be all about the bag and let this go. Um Hmm. What is this? Uh, what is Libra's person's energy? King of Swords. This person is uh, air energy. Gemini keeps popping up. Could be a Gemini. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, taking very, very, uh, this is very smart. Uh, very precise action. Uh, doesn't take any shit. Uh, this is somebody that's basically like standing in their power. Um, this person isn't kind of backing down. This is, uh, they're ready to, to, I think this person likes to like play mental games, fight a little bit. Like, um, and it's almost borderline abusive. I feel like Libra, it's kind of like, a. um, I just want to, I heard control tactic or tactic or something. It's, it's kind of like a way of, they do something. Okay. There's a lot of chaos that there's always kind of going on. But they do something to keep you mentally stuck to where you feel like you got to stay in it or you got to fight for their love or something weird. I don't know how that makes sense. I guess it'll make sense if, <laughs> if it makes sense to you. But that's the energy that I feel from that. Um, real heavy. What else do we have for this King of Swords? How their person feels. Page of Cups. And I feel like in this instance, I feel like it's kind of like the energy of... Um, they want to, I feel like, not invest in something new, something, um, it's just not turning out the way that they want, I feel like. Maybe, I feel like there's also an energy possibly, Libra, of somebody wanting a child and, and somebody not wanting a child, and this person kind of standing and, like, they... Like, you want to marry me? Okay, but we're not having children. I heard that for somebody. Um, yeah, and they weren't taking no for an answer as far as that was concerned. This is the Seven of Wands here. Very, like, defensive. Very, you know, this is what I say in that in that regard, go. So, you can take it or leave it, right? Um, 
they were going to win that battle. And so maybe that was the fight all along between the two of you. Maybe you don't have children yet, Libra, and you want children. Um, how are you reacting to this? You're stuck. And, and I felt it like you're just even though you're you're already like mentally leaving, but you haven't physically left. Maybe if you're living together still or still uh, in the same area, still something. There's something about you that's still stuck. Um, maybe you're just thinking something about the situation is making you feel stuck. All right. Let's see. What else? What else? What else? Um. You don't want it to be over. You don't really want it to be over. But I feel like you realize you're not going to get what you want in this situation either. Knight of Swords. Yeah. So, um, and you're also still like watching what this person does. Either social media or they are you. People, there's an energy of people still watching each other. Air energy. What's the final outcome for... Wow. Okay. We're going to look at all of them really quick, guys. <laughs> all right. So they're all in reverse. Making a decision, having options, third party, and then expansion. Hmm. But they're all in reverse. Am I holding the thing? All right. Let me just do this again. <laughs> they're all in reverse. That's it. That doesn't count, guys. I'm sorry. Let's start that again. Let's start over. What's wrong with me? Am I holding this correctly? the empress all right so the overall energy of this whole dang reading libra is basically you're going to be in your empress energy um i feel like once you leave this situation that you know is no longer healthy for you now i know this reading isn't going to resonate for everyone right um if this resonates for you once you leave the situation that is no longer healthy for you this is going to be the final outcome for you and your energy the empress energy high vibrational energy once you realize and kind of get out of being stuck here, that this was not healthy for you, you're going to be in that Empress energy, okay? Um, I just heard very fertile too, so maybe if you take a new beginning with somebody, use protection, um, you might be getting that baby you wanted, all right? Uh, for somebody I felt like that wanted a baby in this connection, let's see, I'll take one more. Could be with an Aquarius or you could just could be be re, be recognized for something or just prayers being answered, okay? Um, prayers being answered as far as a new beginning is concerned. And then the moon and the ace of cups. So <laughs> things coming to light. This is a new pregnancy, new relationship. So I feel like um, <laughs> this is whole end of this i feel like libra this is saying be careful um once you're in this empress energy and you leave all this f stuff behind right um this new beginning prayers being answered be careful because you're gonna be fertile as shit and you if you're not careful could might find out that you're pregnant here okay so that's an interesting way to end the reading right guys let me get my yin and yang oracle deck out and see what other messages that we have for you here are angels guys please help us with any messages for libra sun moon rising for september 25th So I feel like your spirit guides and ancestors are giving you messages messages and helping you. Um, this has already been going on. And I think that maybe you feel it too. Um, maybe they're coming to you in your dreams or sleeping or something. There's some kind of comfort that you're feeling too. I feel like even if you, I feel like there's an energy of somebody that's been in like the fetal position crying and then like <sighs> taking a deep breath and then like just feeling like, something like overcoming you like with just like complete love and compassion feeling like warmth from god angels ancestors um they're there okay and i feel like this is this is for you to know basically like they're there i feel like you have thought that or acknowledged it but and this could be somebody that's passed away 
trying to help guide you and a uh, family member um, in the right direction. Yeah, I feel like you feel a lot of guilt for sabotaging something. So it could have been something in this connection or just maybe there might be a sense of guilt for sabotaging something in your life that you didn't mean to. Um, however that resonates for somebody. Family, home, and commitment. So you feel guilty about sabotaging something that has to do with family or a commitment. Your higher self activation. Not feeling guarded anymore. Getting out of your comfort zone, right? You've been clinging to it. Get out of it. Um, because I feel like once you get out of it and, and you step into this higher vibrational frequency any, anyway, Libra, you're stepping out of your comfort zone. You're listening to your higher self, even if you don't realize it, right? So once you're stepping out of this low vibrational, low frequency energy um, scenarios, situations, right, in your life, you're... Um, and you're doing the footwork, you're going to be stepping into this abundance, this new beginning, these uh, things that you want, that your soul wants, okay? Um, I'll take one more. I can shuffle correctly. Deception and temptation. All right, so there's uh, some deception and temptation on the rise. <laughs> Um, so be careful with whatever you've got going on. Um, don't sabotage it. Um, I feel like I'm speaking to somebody. There might be an energy of somebody that kind of does this and they don't mean to, or there's, this has been something that they're having to let go of, um, or change about themselves. Maybe, um, sabotaging, giving into deception and temptation and sabotaging connections, commitments, apology and forgiveness so there's an energy of either somebody wanting to apologize or you wanting to apologize to someone else and I feel like that might not have anything to do it could be a family member it could be a friend well if 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 you hear that message and it makes sense then you know who you are and who you need to apologize to right um so let me see decisions you're at a fork in the road about decisions yeah we're going back to the beginning of the reading here now we've made we've come full circle okay libra <laughs> i think it's time to end it we know what's up you're at the fork in the road you're making a decision i feel like the energy is uh the decisions uh our advice my advice your angels and god and everybody i feel like you're on the way to making the right decisions i feel like you're kind of still looking back there right people are still looking at each other's social media you haven't fully let go neither is this person but i feel like you're on the way right at least you're here so it's up to you which way do you want to go what do you want in your life okay um spirit angels guides please help us with just a few more messages for libra sun and rising these are my my rude and crude oracle cards they don't necessarily have anything to do with this reading they're just extra messages of spiritual enlightenment for you real quick you are going through some tough shit everyone has their turn welcome to yours gather your tired ass up and handle it so whatever's going on it's your turn right so Handle it. You got this, right? We all go through stuff. Okay, figure shit out on your own. This is like what I was saying to you. You know, um, I think in my last reading, when people are, are, are kind of spilling, telling all their business, um, or you don't need to always do that anyway, but um, expecting somebody else to give you the right answer. This is what I think you've been doing and this is the decision you need to make on your own, okay? Someone broke your heart, fuck them. So yeah, I feel like pick that up heavy too. There was definitely some heartbreak in this situation for somebody. Um, you have to beg somebody to love you. It's not love, right? Um, face reality or live in la-la land, choose bravely, believe what you see. So I always say this, like, believe what people show you about themselves. Believe the energy that people give you, show you, how they treat you. Um, 
And it's like, and I feel like sometimes it, I, it took for me to like doing a lot of like inner child healing um, to really understand that too and change because um, if you've had like kind of a screwed up growing a family life growing up or different like maybe you're taught you weren't taught what love was supposed to be so maybe you uh, you grew up in a in a home that you were always seeking somebody's approval um, and felt like you weren't good enough and so you spent your whole life growing up as a child trying to feel make somebody love you and feel like you were good enough so when you grow up you look for connections like that and you end up stuck in this cycle of toxic shit because it's not love it's it's what you know or what you were taught as a child right no that was a lengthy explanation but i feel like that'll make sense to somebody right so um see situations for what they really are okay and make decisions you can't force people to love you they don't love you fuck them right okay squeeze you need a big fucking hug we're gonna end it there <laughs> That's going to be it, Libra. I hope that message was helpful for someone. Until next time, lots and love and light. Um, if you'd like to donate to my channel or contact me for any reason, that information is also going to be in the description box below. Bye.